Uh, speaking about trending, well, we did say yesterday we were going to get in contact with uh, my good friend, Blaze, uh, to find out a little bit more about this Beanie Man versus Bounty Killer clash. And why was it such a big deal? Let's share with you excerpts of the, the sounds and the music, and then we'll begin a conversation. <laughs> Good evening, officer. Yeah. We are on international TV live, people. The police are here. <laughs> and they're saying good evening. Good evening, officer. How are you, sir? You all right? You good? Huh? Crystal? Everything good? All right. Can we not do this right now? The world is watching us right now. Can we not do this right now? Can we not do this right now? We got 500,000 people watching us right now all over the world. Do you want to be that guy? Do you, do you want to be this guy? You want to be that guy? Do you want to be that guy? Do you want to be that guy? Listen. Yeah. Yeah. People, the police are here. But we're not, stop, we're not stopping. Because before COVID-19, it was murderers killing people. It was people killing people. Then COVID-19 started killing people. So we do this. Hey, stop. Killer, we're not going to make them disturb our thing. Killer, come back over here, son. Them gone out the door. People, the police are gone. We get rid of them. It's good. We are Jamaicans. We are being nice. We are being good. We are nice people. Only don't make me start to fight. So people, let's do this. This is a even officer. Uh, the police have said that they didn't come there to shut the party down. They were just checking on them. But um, another story. I think uh, Blaze is joining us on the line at this time. Blaze, good morning. How are you? Hey, morning, Ian. How are you? Good morning, good morning. Thank you so much. Now, you know, to get the inside scoop and get the temperature of the people, I know today is your Drama Wednesday section, so yeah, we, I'm not going to... Yeah, we drama right now, actually. <laughs> so I'm gonna, <laughs> not going to take you away too much from that, but tell me a little bit, why was this such a big deal? Why was social media on fire over the weekend with this? Well, I mean, you know, at the end of the day, you're looking at two iconic dancehall superstars, megastars. I mean, from, from my generation... Um, you know, Beanie and Bounty were, were the men that set the peace. They were also the men that had, they were two warring factions. And I think they were almost like if you can compare Pepsi and Coca-Cola, where one made the other even better, Ronaldo and Messi. Right. So they, they pushed the envelope on each other and they made each other better. And then there were strict, there were strict lines drawn by fans in terms of who was a Bounty fan and who was a Beanie fan, you know? So, so that's what, when you see these two guys together, it's always, it's always something to see. Because you don't really see it, because they're almost like two warring fraction, fractions forever. Tell me a little bit, you know, we had big names, Missy Elliott, you had P. Diddy, you had all these big name stars, Rihanna, obviously with her Caribbean roots, all tuning in. And they, they kept everyone on, uh, it is, the story was picked up by CNN, it was picked up by Billboard, it was picked up by Forbes, everyone talking about this. What does this mean for the Caribbean music scene? Because I saw an argument that Jamaica is used by the world, the, the world uses Jamaica and Caribbean interchangeably, but it's only the Jamaica that receives the love. Well, I mean, you know, I mean, the, 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 the reggae music and the dancehall music is a very strong entity. I mean, just like our soca music. Um, and I think that the, the clash element, it comes from Jamaica. 
you know the the foundation of when you're talking clash that is that is that is that is that is jamaican and jamaicans have been very proud of it and they have taken it out of their borders into the u.s into japan i mean you name it into europe and when you hear clash you know you know that's jamaican so obviously when you hear when when, when we will hear yo this is gonna it, it's gonna be a clash between x and y and z they immediately associated it with jamaica because that's like part, that's part of the heritage that's part of the culture you know so people were very they were in awe and then they wanted to see if these two war in factions would actually take to each other or if it would be a peaceful war or a warring war you know people it was just it was just interesting who did you think who did you think in the end won um i think beanie had the more commercially successful songs right um because beanie is more commercially successful than bounty mm -hmm. but bounty if 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 you're looking for as we say in the urban world the bad man tunes then bounty <laughs> is the easy man for that you know so i think i think they both won right i think beanie fans would say beanie, beanie man won i think bounty fans would say bounty bounty won um but i think one of the main <laughs> the main debacles was when the police arrived <laughs> and bounty disappeared <laughs> i think i i am a bounty fan i i, I wouldn't like and I felt a little, I felt a little down because we expected <laughs> if anybody had to stand up to the police, it would be Bounty. <laughs> and Bounty disappeared off the screen totally. So I now, as a Bounty fan, have to make excuses for Bounty on radio because <laughs> people coming at me and saying, please, what happened to Bounty? And dies your boy? <laughs> and I have to say, well, Bounty got a call and he went to answer it. Or he was on side quarreling or, you know, so I think that, that point, um, I think Bounty didn't look too good there. Yeah, yeah, no, his, I, I must agree. Knowing Mr. Brookie is the warlord and the poor people's governor and, and the man to stand up against the government and so on, you know? <laughs> <laughs> I must agree with you on that one. Even I was like, where did Bounty go? Bini was the only man who just stood up there, you know? Um, yeah. my, my final question to you, do you think that we can ever see a Soka clash? And if, if so, who would, you, who would you think would be the best two to go out and represent Trini Soka? I mean, I I um, I think there there is room for for a soccer clash. I mean, it's obvious the obvious names. I mean, I also asked on 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 radio here on Slam One Double Point Five, and people wanted to see Marshall and Bungie. Yeah. Um. Then some people wanted to see Marshall and I. They had a little kind of clash thing going on last carnival, not yeah. 2020, 2019. Um. So so people kind of threw in the names, but anyhow, you take it that would be two of the bigger names people want to see and. Honestly, um, they want to see people that don't really agree with each other. Yeah. You know, that, that would be the intrigue. I mean, if you put Marshall and Farmer, people say, well, you know, Marshall is Farmer partner for, for years, so that's not too interesting. Mm. You know, so we want to see people who are rivals then. Let me, let me put it that way. We want to see two rivals. And yes, there is room for, for a soccer versus. All about the clash. So what's the big thing on Drama Wednesday today before we wrap? Um, well, the big thing on Drama Wednesday is just people are commenting on, uh, well, uh, the father out, um, mm -hmm. commenting on, you know, government issues, you know, politics is in the air. Um, <laughs> silly season has started. So, you know, a lot of the talk is, is, is centered. And Rhea also got a little, um, Rhea, Rhea Rambley. Somebody called her Rhea Double D. But I said that she's Double R because she's Rhea Rambley. So I, I don't know where that Double D came from, honestly. Blaze, you know, you always happen to kind of always hit me this curveball that I think, okay, now we're going to end the conversation. But thank you so much for joining us this morning. I know that you're on radio right now, Slam 100.5. Definitely check it out. One of my definitely favorite radio personalities. Um, what is it like now being alone? Um, well, you know, at the end of the day, Jason and I have been doing this, doing this for over, over 15 years. Yeah. And, um, you know, it, it feels a little strange. It's still feeling a little strange, you know, my partner not across the table. Um, but, you know, we always say when life throws you, gives you lemon, you make tequila. <laughs> For sure. You know what I mean? So, so right now, Miles and I, we here, we holding the fort, people liking it. I mean, you know, we, we making some lemonade and tequila right now, you know, because we know that Jay is on to, to his, what, what he wants to do. His journey yeah. has taken a different turn. And, and we always wish him all the best. And he will always remain our brother in whatever capacity or party. That, that he may be, but 
He shall not escape the rundown. <laughs> for sure. Have a good one, definitely. Thank you so much, Blaze. And give Miles our love. Thank you so much uh, for joining us this morning. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. That's uh, Ansel Blaze, Isaac. You definitely know him as one of our big personalities. And also with the rundown, of which, as you know, I used to be there quite often. Uh, we definitely have come to the end of today's show. Have a safe and blessed day, Trinidad and Tobago. I will see you tonight for our business show, but be good.